Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. In this lesson, we're going to just uh, bring ourselves up to speed on some few things we should have done, which we couldn't do due to the fact that we don't like to prolong our videos. So basically, just going to have to name all these uh, control buttons so that when pasting our codes, it matches with the names we're going to assign to them. And also do some few settings before we go and come back and then add the various codes to execute to help execute the commands in our form so let's start with that let's make sure the add and save button is selected then we go to name here let me edit the name so we just type cmd add please make sure you type it exactly as it is here cmd add so here yeah, cmd reset here cmd close here cmd search you can see after the cmd in in lower keys I start with the next word with, a, with another case. So CMD, capital A, then add in, in that order. Make sure you do the same thing. Yeah. We have CMD, updates. Good. So we are done with that. Now we have their names assigned to them. Let's go back to our um, Excel sheet and do something there too as well. Let's just click and um, try to create another sheet and name it settings. It's going to be our settings sheet. I don't want this sheet to be here, please. If I come this way, come this way, come this way. I want it to be at the end here. So just double click to name it settings. It's in lowercase. I don't want it that way. Settings. So in here, we're going to have list of our uh, combo box. The combo box here for our for the selection of our various classes. So please. The way we are going to type them, let's make sure we all do the same thing. So we're going to start with KG1, KG2 in that order. So we start here from here. Let's type KG1, KG2, and then KG3, and sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. So we have basic 1. Basic two, basic three, basic four, basic five, basic six, basic seven, basic eight, and then finally basic nine let's go ahead and add something here no sorry sorry not in school so we are good to go let's just adjust the column here just to make the text fit into it perfectly way it is so we are done with that now let's select it this way and then let's come here and then assign a name to it let's give it a name like uh, class so c l a s s after typing the name, you hit enter. Good. So now the name has been assigned. So when we select this way, we have the name appearing there as this. If it is not working this way for you, it means you didn't do it. Well, so you have to redo it again and make sure after selecting it this way, you have the name appearing there. Because we're going to be using it in our form. So let's just go ahead and check that. So we can control and save. Yes. Okay. Just to save it. So let's minimize this. Now let's just make sure the class uh, what do you call it uh, box is selected here let's select it here now let's come to the row source row source and just type the name we have assigned to it class so we are good to go from there good now let's just deb debug it and see what's going to happen there so let's check from here so we have list of the classes here available for us so we choose any of them and it's going to work for us so basically that is that let's just go back to the form and then go ahead and do other few things now let's just go to the now in the naming we have forgotten to name other few things too let's just click on this the option buttons and then name them so let's just clear this and name it 
opt1 and then clear this opt2 opt1 here and then opt2 meaning option one option two in that order so we are good to go with this um so let's just go back to our excel sheet and add some few things from there so let's just come back here let's just go to the student details let's check on that sheet so student details so we have it here now let's just go to the formulas and choose name manager so after choosing the name manager we're going to do some few things here so let's just click on new you see the data we have added this name manager dialog box or function here it's going to assemble all the information from our combo box and then uh, what we are going to be doing right now which is going to be how it's going to help us get the what do you call it the columns in our database in the form the name manager is going to handle all this for us so on, on this screen so go to new now so on new let's just give it a different name and type let's say data so we are good to go with the name so let's just adjust it a bit and then we'll be good to go okay so let's clear this here good after clearing this we can now adjust this to have our uh, students details sheet up and running here so now we are going to type in some um, formula here so let's just that equal to after the equal to let's make sure okay before we do that let's just name here like one sorry let me just clear this uh, let me just okay let me start with the execution of it and then we need to do so let's just name here as one so at the moment we are done it appears there automatically for us so that just to show us that we are on course so after this let's just come to name manager again so you come to new we're going to create new one so we're going to clear what is here let's just clear what is here don't need it so, so let's give it a name like data after that we can come here and then type in our formula here now so let's just type equal to and we type offset after typing the offset just open your brackets of off and then set offset and after that select um this oh sorry where have i named oh gosh i've named the wrong place sorry for that let me just cancel this and then restart it again I don't have to name here so it should be under the first column so that is the admission number one sorry for that please forgive me for this now after this let's just go back to the name manager again so we go to new let's give it a name as data so let's clear what is here it is cleared now let's just type equal to the type in the equal sign as usual offset and open the bracket let's just select this then after that let's type comma and then after the comma let's add uh, one and then that is um, the, 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 the first column and then comma and then zero then after that then comma then they type counter c c o u n t a and open a bracket again now this time around select the entire column from there so you just click on that and after that you can just close your bracket after closing the bracket, we're going to subtract something from here. With this, it's going to be taking the first two rows. That is this and that. We don't want it. I want it to start with only the first row. So after this, we're going to say minus one, then comma. Then we type the number of columns, which is 10. So after that, we can just close our bracket. So you can just click on OK. So you can close it now. Or you can just select it so you can see that the entire row here the first row is selected which means if it is happening like this it means it's working perfectly for you and then we are good to go so after that you can just um, close this so we have our name manager there so you just go to name manager you have it there see, see don't, don't forget of this name you're going to be using it in the user form there so let's just go ahead and then execute that so let's close it from here let's go back to our user form now let's make sure the list box is selected now let's go back to the row source here as we've done for that of the combo box and type in data the name of the the the, the, 
the name we have just assigned it. So with this, you can see that we have all the headings assembled in here. Oh, sorry, let me just undo this action. Good. So you can see that we have all the, let me just debug it so that we see it perfectly. So we have all the headings assembled in here for us. From name, address, contact, whatever, whatever. It's, it's just there very neatly for us. Admission fee, guardian name, and all that. So basically, and that is that. And then there is some little thing I'm just checking out here. Let me see if I can fix it here. Let's just go back to the list here and see something from there. Let's just check here. Let me just expand this a bit, sorry. Oh gosh. Okay, let me just check this way, please. One, two, three. Let me try counting it this way and see. Oh gosh. Sorry for that. Good. With this, I can count what is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Have I set it well? Column counts. That is ten and all that. Okay. 80, 180, 110, all that. So this is for um, admission number. This is for name. This is for class. This is for gender. This is for date of admission. Uh, so date of birth, date of admission. And then uh, admission fee. Admission fee. And then a uh, guardian name address and finally we have the contact but then what is the problem over there so let me just check it out let me i'm just trying to fix some little problem i've just noticed in here let me debug it once again and see okay. oh okay it's there it's 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 working perfectly now so there is no issue there again i don't know what what's happening but then it's okay now let's just go ahead and format the, the text in the heading so with that let's just go here let's come back to the let's just try to check and see let's make sure the list box is selected so select the list box now after doing that let's just come to the the text then we just uh, center it so align center text align should be center like this so we would like to bold it so to do that you make sure it's selected let's go to the font so the, the font style, uh, they want to bold it to Times New Roman and then the size should be 10. So I think, okay, so we have this up and running. So basically we are done. So in our next lesson, we're going to just copy and paste our formulas and then everything will work perfectly for us. So thank you very much. So until then, say bye for now.